Hello, welcome to Inastava. Here is an English lesson for the third grade of high school. Today, we will dedicate our time to World Statistics Day. My name is Livia Pribanic and I'm your teacher in this lesson. There are various tasks ahead of you in this lesson. And what we will uh, mostly focus on is how to explain a graph and how to structure an informal email. And now, please prepare your notebook and something to write with. Don't forget, you can pause the video lesson at any point. Are you ready? Let's get started. I hope the title of the video lesson has not frightened you off. Well, if you got this far in watching, then there is a hope, a spark of interest, and that is a good sign. So let us start with an easy activity. You will watch a short video on statistics and the basic terms that appear in each statistical report. Watch carefully as there is a task afterwards. And here is the task. There are several sentences here, and in each there is a word missing. What you can do now is pause the video lesson, try to fill in the words. If not, re-watch the video from the previous slide and fill in the gaps. Don't forget, come back later so we can check the answers together. And the answers are... Statistics is based on facts and figures called data. Data are collected, analyzed, presented, and interpreted. There are two categories of data. It is believed that census is the first example of data collection. The mean, median, mode, percentiles, range, varies, and standard deviation are numerical measures. Well done. Charts and graphs are often used to summarize data. They make it easy to see the trends and the amount of variation in the information being studied. How good are you at describing a graph? Let's take a look at this one here together. There is a short description next to it. And the description says, the graph from Croatian Bureau of Statistics 
presents data on annual and average annual inflation rates in the period from 2007 to 2020. The vertical axis is percentage and the horizontal axis is years. The red line shows the annual inflation rate. The blue line illustrates the average annual inflation rate. There are two very important pieces of information here marked in red. The first one, Croatian Bureau of Statistics, is the source. Always name the source. Also, it is important to say the title of the graph because it usually explains what the graph actually represents. In this case, the graph presents annual and average annual inflation rates in the period from 2007 to 2020. You can go on then explaining what each of the axes represents. In this case, the vertical represents percentage and the horizontal presents years. Finally, explain what the lines in the graph show. So here, the red line shows the annual inflation rate and the blue line illustrates the average annual inflation rate. These information are very important for your audience. They need to understand what they are looking at. And here are some more options. You can also say that the graph from, here, name the source, shows or illustrates and then provide the title. Another option is when looking at this graph, on, so here you name the title of the graph, from, and then you name the source. Never forget to say what each of the axes presents. Let's go back to axis a bit. As already mentioned, the vertical axis is percentage and the horizontal axis is years. What you will also need to say is what do these lines present? For example, in the annual rate, an increase is evident in 2012 and a decline followed in 2013. And again, there are more options and varieties to choose from. When talking about increase, you can use the following words, rise, grow, go up, double, multiply, or climb. When talking about decrease, you can use the words drop, fall, decline, halve, or plunge. If something is constant or stable, it can be stabilized, leveled off, or something can remain constant or steady and consistent. They say that practice makes perfect. Here is another graph. The source is the same. Use the template from the previous slides, check on the vocabulary offered in more options, and write a description of this graph. Don't forget to choose two interesting points that you would like to point out and compare or contrast them. Don't forget, in your description, you need to mention the source, the title, talk about the axis, and put an extra emphasis on two points which you will either explain or describe. If you have all this in your description, then you can send it off to your teacher. Well done. But statistical data can be presented in a less dull way too. We can find visually more appealing reports and explanations on the official website of Croatian Bureau of Statistics. And this is how you will find these more appealing visual materials. 
here is a um, link that you can either click on it's underneath the video lesson here or you can scan the QR code and this will take you directly to the web page once you get to the web page click on visualizacije podataka this is where you will find these infographics now that you have these visuals in front of you it is short of a list you can flip through the topics and choose the one you like the best what you will do next you will study the data presented in that topic in that visual material then choose three interesting facts from the data now we will use these three interesting facts from the visual materials to write an email imagine you have a pen pal in Norway. You've been exchanging emails for several months now. In your next email, write about the topic you have chosen on the website, the previous website, the topic and the interesting visual material. Before you start writing your email, make sure you know all the elements of an email sender, receiver, subject, greetings, and paragraphs. Okay, so by now you have three important facts on a certain topic. You have the context you're writing to your pen pal in Norway. And you have just revised the structure of an email. Before you start writing the actual email, put yourself in the shoes of your pen friend. What would you like to know about a foreign country? This is very important. And then in your email, clearly explain three interesting facts about the topic you have chosen. Refer to the data and add your personal comments opinions and examples please be very careful the aim of the task is not for you to copy the data in your email you are writing to your peer the person who is the same age as you are write in an informal style so do not copy do not turn into your email into a statistical report. And here is a rubric to help you uh, complete the task successfully. First of all, pay attention to organization of your piece of writing. Do you have all the elements of an email? Uh, also, format of your writing. That's what I have just mentioned. You are writing to an 18 or 19 year old. Use informal language, abbreviations. You can add emoticons. Also slang is acceptable. This is not a formal way of communication. Facts, this is one of uh, requirements in a task. So you need to clearly explain three facts. Also check your vocabulary, check your spelling check the words you have used and have you relied maybe on a very simple vocabulary or you have showed uh, how skillful you are at expressing your thoughts and grammar of course is very important check your grammar check the usage and check the choice of grammatical structures and now you are all set write your email proofread it and send it to your teacher And just before we say goodbyes to each other, it's time for a bit of self-assessment. Go through these statements and decide for yourself. Would it be a tick, a cross, or a question mark? 
So can you say a few sentences about statistics? If not, please rewatch the video from the first part of the lesson. Can you describe a graph in writing? If not, please do the task, the writing task again. Can you interpret statistical data and can you comment on statistical data? If not, please watch the video lesson again and write your email. That would be all in our lesson today. Thank you for joining us in this lesson. Until the next time, bye.